So before the video begins, I want to say that I'm partnering up with Western Rise for their special hat sale this weekend that will be live for only 48 hours starting on Saturday, June 23rd and will be lasting until Sunday, June 24th. Click the link down below and use my code SLOWPLACE40 to get 40% off all Versa and Shift hats. All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 as well as the Breakers content and news here on the channel guys man we got a lot of stuff to talk about we got uh information we have uh some speculation predictions and some leaks all right in regards to xenoverse 2 and its next big update or i guess just the next update in general that it will have i know we just recently got dlc pack 14 so this is you know it's obviously going to be some time until the next one but um let's just discuss it because i'm excited there's a lot of cool stuff to talk about and uh, as you can see on screen right here we have game of the year for 2022, Dragon Ball The Breakers, okay, going into free creative mode, it's it's truly compelling. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and jump into uh, the very first thing that I want to talk about, okay, and this is in regards to all the information that was presented yesterday. There's been some extra stuff that they revealed on the website. They they seem to be doing this now, which I'm, I'm glad. I love that they do this. And it's Comic-Con is having some like Dragon Ball the Breakers stuff going on there. But Superhero doesn't make any sense. So uh, as you guys saw, it's coming on October 13th slash I think 14th, depending on where you live on the time zones or whatever, which is um, really good news. And this also plays into the Xenoverse 3 leaks and stuff because uh, the original leakers, Air Dokkan, DBS Hype, and DBS Chronicles, um, who, who leaked the information yesterday, right before the trailer dropped. You guys saw I posted a video about these leaks that it would be coming around October 13th and that it would have uh, Frieza as a playable character, which, I mean, we knew that it was going to happen, but they specifically said it was going to be Frieza that would be showcased in this next uh, beta that they were going to do. And like I said, also, uh, there would be another closed beta that I think is happening uh, early next month, which they did confirm. I'm going to go over all that, too. And that's all what Air Dokkan reported on, Devious Hype and Devious Chronicles also reported on it. So... Uh, the Xenoverse 3 leaks, in terms of Xenoverse 3 being in development, I think it's a lot more, you know, realistic now. Like, we can we can see that this, this might actually be the case and might actually happen. Now, take what I say with a grain of salt, still take what's being said with a grain of salt. I'm not saying it's 100% confirmed. Whenever Bandai posts a teaser uh, on their Twitter or if they post, like, a teaser trailer or something on their YouTube channel... That's how you know the game is officially going to be coming out. But right now, from what they said, it's still in development, okay? Development doesn't mean that it's done. It's a finished product, and it's good to go, and it's 100% yet. Things can change. COVID and everything that's going on is getting... It's still... It's really bad, and I think it's getting worse again. You know, it's just like this wave because people are being stupid. So I'm not going to get into that, but I'm just saying... Um, things will definitely change over time. So let's go ahead and go over all this latest info real quick because this is, like I said, about Xenoverse 2 and the Breakers and the collaboration that it's going to have. So tickets, or not tickets, why did I say tickets? Like it's the movie. <gasps> uh, Japan will be uh, having them going on sale on October 13th. Pre-orders for download version will begin progressively starting in August. Now, if I'm not mistaken from what it showed, uh, the game is going to be 20 bucks. Okay, if you just want to buy just the game with probably whatever pre-order bonus that they have with it, um, it's going to be $20. So that's pretty cheap. Okay, it's not dirt cheap. And, you know, obviously, I personally think the game should be free just because from what we've seen, like, it's just crazy. We waited seven, eight months. And the only thing that they could show is that Freeze is going to be a raider. Like, oh, okay. Like, I'm still excited to play the game. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, like content <laughs> where's the content where's this where's the eight months of work and it's like this better have the best most immaculate clean online connection i'm just saying it right now there's a lot riding on this connection because they haven't said jack shit about the game they haven't done anything about the game this game reuses a bunch of assets from xenoverse 2 it even uses assets from fighters so this online which is what i'm assuming is has been taking the most amount of time the most feedback that they've gotten this online better be Mm, magnifico it better be what two thousand percent be it better be better than fucking rollback this better be the most immaculate connection i have ever experienced on any online game all right 
so we know what dragon ball the breakers is they don't need to explain all that uh the comment from the producer basically what he said is what i just told you guys is that um in the upcoming beta test we have planned we hope uh you will take note of not only the new characters but also the new features and improvements we've implemented as you play so that's uh you know that's good news okay um from what they showed at least from the teasers and stuff uh there really wasn't much new stuff like i said it was just frieza with Zarbon and Dodora, we already, we obviously already knew that from the leaks and from what they show on the actual promo images and stuff. So we knew Frieza was going to be a raider. We know Boo is going to be a raider eventually too. But uh, the new character thing, I think it's just, it's literally just like one skin. It's Bulma or something like that. So Frieza, love this artwork. Got the Dragon Ball Legend style. So Frieza, he's different obviously from cell um and the fact that he goes from the first form to the fourth form so he's got one two three four he's got four forms instead of or actually cell had four forms right because i, for, I forgot the larva version was a form too okay so four forms um you can dramatically fill up the gauge needed to evolve with rage all right so it's cool because these are these are skills these are like attack abilities that you have if you're playing as the raider you have a zarbon attack skill and then you have a dodoria one okay so Frieza uh, is a technique type raider whose key to victory lies in using enemy searching and attack skills. If you use his scouter skill, not only or only available in his first form, you can search for enemies within a certain radius. He also has a handy Zarbon Dodoria skill that allows him to both search for and attack survivors. Okay, so with each new form, you'll be able to use powerful uh more powerful skills and super attacks his fourth form's ultimate super attack this planet will die will allow him to level an extensive part of the field to nothing so similar to cell super kamehameha or perfect cells super kamehameha pretty pretty clean okay so freezer power uh, is powerful even in his first form and now you can experience it uh what must have what it must have felt like in the anime when he hunted down the namekians yeah so again this is not supposed to be it, it, in a sense it's like a horror aspect or whatever which is cool uh and and they're definitely playing into that and it's like cell frieza and um what is it uh boo all three of them are are just perfect for this okay and i hope they do goku black and zamasu because that's the same thing okay that would be so sick if they want to do like broly maybe like janemba because remember whenever veku was like being hunted down by janemba uh his his super janemba form that was sick you know he, he was literally hiding <laughs> like he was scared he was about to shit his pants bro double meat double cheese so character skin pantaloons bulma with her uh arabian costume or whatever the uh, arabian style outfit uh we already saw this we already know this was going to be in the game her special abilities are um what is it? it she she like flaunts her ass this is fucking weird she's like what like 16 right here is, is weird bulma has some convenient and, and characteristic skills one of her skills is capsule single wheel motorbike so which you can see right here and then her charming pose which will temporarily stop the raider dead in their tracks whatever okay so yeah as you can see right here digital only will be 20 bucks the special edition will be 30 bucks which has like some extra stuff i think it's like uh android 18's uh what is it what is it called the z orb ability or whatever and then i think there's like a scouter that you can get and then the limited edition has a whole bunch of shit which i'll go over here in just a second so that's it for like the um main info that they dropped for this now, when it comes to special bonuses and stuff, let's talk about this real quick, okay? So, the early buyer's bonuses. Download version pre-order bonus, okay? Okay, so this is... Sorry, my bad. This is just the normal standard pre-order bonus that will come with any copy of the game, or at least the download version, uh, if you pre-order it now. Okay, the transfer, that's what it's called, transfer. Android 18, skill, the wall kick. Um, you get drip, I'm gonna be honest. For the dude, the dude looks sick as fuck with... Uh, Android 18's clothes. Holy shit. This is... Bro, I, I rocked that shit. That looks amazing. What the fuck? Why does that look so good? One thing I will give Dragon Ball the Breakers is they got drip in that game. Like, ev the costumes that they offer are awesome. I want all that shit in Xenoverse 2, okay? So, early buyers can get two huge ama amazing bonuses. They're not that big. <laughs> They're not that amazing, by the way, too. So, it's going to be the Android 18 skill wall kick uh, transfer shit. When players equip a transfer containing the soul of the warrior, they can make various... Okay, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, when you use transfer passive skill wall kick, you can climb up walls with no problem at all. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Even areas with rugged, uneven terrain won't slow you down. Okay, so it's just a better way to climb up on shit. Accessory, the blue scouter. Okay, it's just an accessory. There's, I don't think it does anything. It's just, yeah, it's just an accessory. Wow. That's huge, guys. Huge bonus. Now, the special edition bonuses. Now, this is where the more drip comes into effect. Kind of reminds me, this is like the, uh, what is it? The varsity sort of jacket, similar to what uh, the, what is it? Players from Dragon Ball Legends got. They had like a special, like when they had the tournament for the first anniversary. This, oh man, this looks so good, bro. Like I want to, I would wear this shit in real life. It's great. And that's why I guess it works for the breakers because you're just like standard humans and stuff. So you're going to be wearing more casual clothing, which I'm, it's cool to see. It's different, you know? Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball doesn't really have much casual shit, especially in Xenoverse. Like you have all this crazy shit, like Broly's fucking bot ear and shit. So the special edition comes with three types of digital content that you can use in game. Customizable outfit with incredibly stylish set that includes the souvenir jacket, midnight black, skinny jeans black, and slip-on shoes gray, and a casual watch black. Okay, so it's a full set. Uh, you'll be able, you'll you'll be sure to draw the attention of the other survivors when you're not running from the raider. Best of all, these items are customizable with the other outfits, so you can that you can acquire in game. Victory pose the two two-handed good, two-handed good, two-handed good. Two-handed good. That's all you need to know. God damn, bro. I'm excited for two-handed good. I've, I've waited my whole life for two-handed good. So when you win a match, you can change your victory pose to the two-handed good pose. Double the thumbs up, meaning you're twice as happy to win, right? Sorry about that. That was a Amber Alert. Um, Victor, or sorry, vehicle skin. Uh, the yellow dragon. So that's dope. You get to have a, have a dragon. Excuse me? That's amazing. It's basically like an Icarus. That's dope. Uh, and now when it comes to the limited edition. Now, this is something that is very, very extra and excessive. So you guys probably don't need to worry about this. But I think it's like 80 bucks if you want this. One of the most disgusting yet amazing uh, figures that I've seen. Sells empty husk figure from the Asobi store. Now, this is exclusive to Bandai's Bandai Namco store. So... If I'm going to be honest, I think the one that you should get is the special edition because you get a bunch of extra shit too, like the costumes and the, you know, little, what is it? The yellow dragon or whatever, higher dragon. That's pretty cool. I think that's dope. And um, it, it's it's definitely worth it in my opinion. For 10 bucks more, like, it's not even, it's half the price of, of your standard retail game. So, uh, pretty good stuff, not going to lie. Now, let's move on to Xenoverse 2. Now, this is just a joke. I, I'm, I'm joking around about this, but watch it happen because, I mean, it's it's obvious at this point. Imperfect Cell, or sorry, Semi-Perfect Cell, we know was in the files from the update that happened in May of this year. Okay, there were more files and leaks. Big shout out to Reachow and Demon Boy. So, Reachow said, I think this is from the Xenoverse 2 patch, the, the most recent one or whatever. No one else has posted about it. It seems like it got a couple of new voice lines, okay? So these are the English and Japanese voice lines. I assume they're going to be for the temporal scene quest in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Okay, I'm not going to go over if you want to watch the whole video itself or whatever. It has a whole... It's like 10 to 15 minutes of dialogue that happens with Oolong, Supreme Kaya Time, and future Zeno Trunks. Okay, and they're all talking about, you know, the temporal scene. The temporal scene quests are going to be what us, the time patrollers from Xenoverse 2... Are basically we're we're gonna have the ability to you know actually fight back without having to use the transfers and stuff okay so it's gonna be like basically Dragon Ball the Breakers but in Xenoverse 2 in a sense okay uh, they're probably it's probably gonna be like maybe like a raid boss type of deal uh, but they titled this update 13.5 okay which AKA is DLC pack in in a sense not a, it's not, he said it's not a full DLC pack it, it isn't okay it's it's a crossover for the game. Okay, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna, for the sake of this, call it, uh, you know, DLC pack 14.5, or if you want to call it a, the, the next DLC 15 update, whatever, doesn't matter, it really does not fucking matter, okay, some people get super pressed over, uh, what's being titled over these, and it's like, I'm just giving it a name for convenience purposes, you can call it whatever you want, it's an update, okay, it's gonna be the next update for this game, 
Um, we still don't know if there's going to be an actual DLC pack 15 or not. I'm assuming there is for superhero content. But like I said, I was kind of messing around about this. But watch this actually happen. Um, now, will this be a free update when it comes to the semi-perfect cell uh, and the two forms of Frieza, which are actual full models that are in the breakers, which uses the same sort of assets and models and stuff that they're going to be using for Xenoverse 2. Will they actually do this? And I think they will, uh, just because Cell was already found in the files. Now, will these characters be playable? I really don't know. Okay, that's the hardest thing, is that we can't we there's no way of predicting it just because xenoverse they're very weird about their about shit when it comes to like uh the the merge zamasu corrupted form final form mira and like demigrun shit like how those are like oh you can only use them in like specific certain modes it's like i don't know but these forms of these characters aren't really all that op and powerful you know like mira and like you know corrupted zamasu they have like certain skills that are like very very powerful and like you know kind of broken in, in a sense okay now when it comes to these guys unless they have some crazy new skills integrated okay these might be free update type characters but at the same time if you know everything goes according to how they how they would release this and everything i think dragon ball the breakers will be a collaboration that is a crossover only if you purchase dragon ball the breakers to me that makes the most sense it's a, it's a way to sell the game, okay? Because they know how successful Xenoverse 2 is, and they know people want more content in this game, right? Because they've done fucking 15, 14 DLC packs at this point. So what are they going to do? They're going to try to push sales for the Breakers by making you buy the Breakers so that you could link that shit up to, to Xenoverse 2 and do the special temporal scene quest for more content, okay? Because we're so goddamn thirsty for more content in this game all the time. We're never satisfied right so um i mean i think we can all agree that's that's going to be the case so free update if they're nice you know and they're they're feeling generous i think that'd be awesome i think that'd be really cool but it wouldn't really make much sense unless you've actually owned dragon ball the breakers right right but we'll see what happens um there will be collaboration uh what is it loading screens that were already leaked that i showed in the previous video uh they have some dragon ball the breakers loading screens that they're going to integrate as well so we'll see what happens if they want to do maybe some of it free all of it you have to in a sense it's not it's like it won't be it'll be free if you buy <laughs> if you buy dragon ball the breakers now i'm not confirming that i'm just saying that that's realistic but y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions down below i know this is a very long video but i'm pretty excited for the breakers releasing uh, october 13th slash 14th depending on where you live they have three editions um you know beta is going to be pretty soon here which let me go over that real quick all right my bad i almost forgot about talking about the breakers uh next closed beta like i said it's going to be happening in august uh 5th to the 6th which is in like a couple of weeks right that's in like two weeks yeah two weeks from now it'll be on friday and saturday depending on where you live um so the closed network test for Dragon Ball The Breakers will be playable throughout the weekend of August 5th, 6th, PDT, uh, 6, 7th, CEST. Again, that's, I think that's European time, during the time periods below. So let's go and go over those real quick here. So register now. I'm going to link it all down below. The deadline is going to be on the 1st, so in, in a couple of weeks, uh, August 1st. So it looks like the schedule, there will be four sessions. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read them all out. I mean you you literally see it right there. So Saturday and Sunday Okay, it's gonna be Saturday and Sunday and there's gonna there's a lot of sessions depending on your time zones and stuff So go ahead and do it, you know sign up for it. I'll link the sign up link down below which is right here um, You know, maybe use multiple accounts to sign up for this um, if Bandai does contact me about you know giving away codes and stuff. I will definitely do that but I don't know. I don't know what the case on that is going to be. Because last time I was able to have that opportunity, I have no idea if I'll have it this time. But we'll see what happens. All right. We'll see what happens. But sign up for it if you haven't already. Just because um, it's fun. It's fun. And this is this will be your make or break deal right here. If this when you try it out for yourself and if you think it's fun, then that'll that'll, you know, sell it for you. But if you think it's boring, you're not really too interested in it. I mean, from what we're going to see in this closed beta, that, that's that's how it's most likely going to be whenever you purchase the game yourself, okay? It's very rare that the beta will change all that much other than some minor tweaks to the gameplay. But that's going to be it. 
Like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs> <laughs>